In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to change frame rates on your clips in DaVinci Resolve. Now, changing frame rates is a very useful thing to know how to do, especially if you're trying to do slow motion or fast motion, because you can take a clip that is one speed and make it another speed. There are some complications that can come in when you're trying to do stuff like this, but that's what we're going to be going over today. I'm going to show you some things that can happen, how to avoid certain things, and just generally how to do it so that you're able to use this in your edits. So I've got a clip here in the timeline, I've got some audio under it, and it's just some plants. Some plants chilling out, doing their plant thing easy enough right it's just it's just that so in order to figure out the frame rate of this clip we're gonna go ahead and right click on it up here and go to clip attributes we're at 60 frames we're gonna go ahead and drop that down to 24 hit OK you'll see that this hasn't changed at all but really it has there's now a lot more to it so if we hit play You can see that it's now moving in slow motion because it was 60 now it's 24 it's moving at a little bit less than half speed and it still looks smooth so that's changing it to half but there can be some complications if you drop it down to a lower number than it's going to be capable of putting out so we'll go 16 and then if you watch this here you'll see that it gets all choppy and gross that's because 16 frames just looks bad to our eyes even if you filmed it natively in 16 frames this is what it's going to look like just a little bit faster now that we're at this extended slowed down version we're going to go ahead and speed it back up all the way to 60 go ahead and hit ok and it breaks why does it break because it doesn't have enough frames in here to do 60 frames a second the video is not long enough so we'll go ahead and undo that so we're back to 16 frames and then what we're gonna do is drag this so it's real short come back up here clip attributes now we're gonna bring it back up to 60 go ahead and hit OK and then it'll still be there. You can drag it out to the full clip length and you've got your 60 frames per second clip again. So that's it. That's how you change your 60 frames per second into a lower speed. You can't really move speeds up above where they're intended to be. So if you shot something in 24, you're not gonna be able to make it 60, but you can bring it down to 16 or 12 or something like that. Hopefully this was helpful for you. I know that I've had a couple questions about this. So take this knowledge, Put it into your edits and just keep on editing. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.